I'm outside Trafalgar Square. We just got off her towering across. I'm going to go to Pratt and grab some lunch. Um, shame it's not a little bit sunnier. For those asking, the decorations are all still up. All the Union Jacks or Union Flags, apologies is what they're called. But yeah, it's super busy. It looks like there's some performers up the top there. As I say, it's not raining. It was raining this morning, but it doesn't look like it is anymore. Um, let's get some food. Just grabbed a salad and um, some snacks. But yeah, I didn't do it quick enough. <laughs> Because the protest is, uh, well, it seems like a friendly parade. Parade? I don't know what do you call it, but it goes all the way down. Look, the police are recording everyone. Hmm, behave. <laughs> um, I need to cross the road. Job done, time for a picnic. <laughs> Definitely friendly people. Right, let's head on through the arches. And um, yeah, finally. <laughs> get to be down here because this was what was so busy during the jubilee and i didn't get to to go down and see buckingham palace unfortunately again i feel like i'm a bit in a, a james bond movie here i feel like something has been filmed here let me know I, I feel like round here there must have been something but the red tarmac it's all still uh, pedestrianized at the moment and yeah all the flags have gone which is a shame i kind of was hoping they would keep them up for the whole of the summer but as you saw there's loads of flags still all around london on the mall you just gotta keep an eye out for horse poo <laughs> also what's going wrong with my head what is this i've obviously slept funny um but yes i am in a, ooh, if you can see a summery dress because it's actually even though it probably looks bleak on camera i think it's like 28 degrees and it's real feel of like 30 so and it's really humid <laughs> and i must say uh, this is the national police memorial and i always think it looks really really lovely um but just across there uh is actually let's quickly quickly jump there the famous horse guards parade i'm sure everyone would have watched this on the tv the last few weeks for the jubilee but yes they're still taking down um all of the like the stands the seating i guess it probably takes ages um but the jubilee was quite a few weeks ago now and just on the top there you can see Big ben. But yes, I thought I'd just quickly show you that, but let's head on. It's kind of raining a little bit, but do you know what? It's not a British uh, picnic if you haven't got a picnic blanket and an umbrella with you. And as you can see, I've just come from Charing Cross and I'm gonna scoot all the way down here. And I think we're meeting by the bandstand. So there's a lovely, um, I'd say lake. I don't know if it's called that, but it's a really lovely park. And on the right, left even, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> my liking <sighs> it was 33 degrees yesterday and scorching hot but we're all at work today saturday damn <laughs> and for those wondering it isn't always pedestrianized i think they're still obviously taking everything down from a couple of weeks ago you don't usually get to just wander as you wish along here um it's pretty epic there are a lot of police horses today wow um lots out and about I just have to say, where we're by Buckingham Palace and the Royal Parks, even the lampposts are bougie and the gates, of course, have gold. And speaking of lampposts, this is a bit random, um, there are some um, special purple ones and they've also seen some buses and um, some post boxes as well for the Jubilee. Plan to meet by the bandstand, but it has gone. We did find somewhere under a tree. It's a little bit cooler than we thought, but we're here with everyone. Say hi. How are we liking the picnic? Amazing. So, so much food. A little bit cold? Yeah. Too much food. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much food we've got. And Natasha got us amazing cookies. Yeah, show the cookies, Natasha. Well, yeah, this is enough. So Look at these, they're amazing. From Meal in Warren Street. Ooh, and they got, yeah, salt You'll on them, they're them. amazing. <laughs> I know, I'll have to. And I got these as well, it's a present from Luke and Rich. Yeah, I'll open those at some point. Okay. There's quite a lot of people who have got little gatherings and birthday parties and stuff, but yeah, it's a little bit cold. We we're just saying we might head on um, somewhere else. We have spent uh, about two hours or so, but now we are going to head off because we're cold. We're cold, aren't we, guys? <laughs> also, the wind is picked up. Karen versus picnic map, and no one is helping you. <laughs> Literally, all ready to go. <laughs> Okay, we are packed now. <laughs> we survived the park. Um, and I think we're going to go to, um, there's like a nice hotel bar, but walking through this area, St. James, it's just so nice. All the buildings are absolutely stunning. So yeah, if you're in the area, it's always nice for a little bit of a wander around here. 
and they have loads of cool like old school stores as well. Love it. with my friends we took a few pics we went for drinks and yeah before we knew it hours and hours have passed by but yes it is the next day and I must say today's plans have not quite gone uh, well to plan um, I was gonna go and see there's a hot air balloon display that they do every year and it keeps getting cancelled down at Bastille Park so um, maybe next year but today is not lost I'm down on Marlborough High Street and it looks like they've got a little bit of a summer fair and I guess this is kind of the downside of being in the UK in London um, the weather I mean, I would happily bring move country if I knew that the weather was going to be consistent. But today um, it was meant to be absolutely pouring down all day. And then last night said it was going to be 22 degrees and sunny all day. Hence why I wanted to go and see the balloon thing. Um, and as of an hour ago, it said it's now going to chuck it down all afternoon. So sunglasses at the ready, rolly at the ready. Let's go do this. I love it when the main roads are closed down and they have different stalls. Oh, I should have come down early for the dog show. Look like your owner at 11 o'clock. <laughs> there is a doggy treat tournament and that has got my name on it. Now a lot of people say to me like, Hannah, why don't you have a dog? So the building that I live in um, and I like own my flat, um, like you're not allowed dogs and I don't really want to risk getting a dog and then getting in trouble um yeah and no one in my building has dogs like you can't get away with it so maybe one day i'm not sure if i would have a dog maybe like a small dog in london but <laughs> oh he's sniffing his mum as they do <laughs> they're just talking about the yoga dog expert as the builders are going up they must think what is going on I feel like the street parties are continuing. We've got like a bar over there, lots of Aperol spritz being served, a nice little cafe here. They've got some seating outside. So it looks like it's, um, yeah, companies that are usually here. And they've got a bit of an outside setup, which is amazing. We've got a little bit of a massage tent over there and um, yeah, some different beauty treatments. Oh my gosh, everyone has got giant hot dogs. I'm so glad I had my, I did purposely have my lunch before I came here. I mean, even the sign looks a bit posh, doesn't it? Um, yeah, some beef sausages, they look amazing. And a lot of people agree because the line is huge. With a little fairground action going on. This is a very civilized little festival, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, my heart is saying yes, my stomach's saying yes, but my fillings are saying no. I actually haven't had alcohol for probably four weeks by the time you've seen this, um, which I'm really pleased with, but as you can see, my skin is not where it needs to be. I actually haven't got much makeup on. Um, yeah, so candy floss, <laughs> no. This is tempting. Oh, people always like to see the prices of things. Six pound for a Pims or a Sangria, pretty much for everything. And an Aperol Spritz. It's very typical London prices, but they're very organized. Getting it all ready. Oh my God, I'm loving how many dogs are here. This is making me so happy. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's a couple of um, German sausages places. It's reminding me of um, Winter Wonderland, Christmas. And I've had quite a lot of messages recently being like, I'm coming to London, what should I pack? Guys, I don't know because Friday was 33 degrees, 60% humidity, and today is, it says it's 19 degrees. It doesn't feel like 19 degrees, it's kind of cold. Um, I've got jeans on, so yeah, just when in doubt, you just maybe bring as much as you can. <laughs> and all of the bars have got a little outdoor bar as well, which doesn't usually happen. There's limited seating usually outside in these places, um, but this is the Marlebone Bar and Natural Kitchen. It's always very pretty. Oh my gosh, it's down each of the side roads. And as I pan around onto the main at Marlborough High Street, it continues. I love that there's like clothing bits, jewelry, little cake stores and stuff like that. Oh, this is so lovely. I love this print, that is amazing. It's very, is it Beverly Hills Hotel? 
that has that wallpaper. Everything that you would need living in London. <laughs> oh my gosh, I used to have something like this as a kid. These little like, ah, the little people. Oh my gosh, I wonder if my sister's watching this. It's amazing. set up I know they're doing um, like movies in the evening um, through the summer I think is what they're gonna do here but yeah sit and watch the tennis it's nice to see that they have prepared for potentially bad weather let's be honest um, we've got a couple of little uh, cars in here how cool is that I must admit I'm finding it quite hard like I don't know even socially like not to drink um, I just want to see how long I can go without drinking to be honest with you um, and I want to try and just be a little bit healthier for the summer but yeah, us Brits, <laughs> we like a drink. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> how cool is that? Hello. <laughs> and the BT Tower is poking up on top of those buildings. I've never seen so many parents walking around with drinks, like pushing buggies and their kids are just like, you know, playing around. It's good, lots of dads with beers. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is where everyone's getting them from. Wow, they look so good. Oh wow, and they've been around since 1973. That's a London price. Not gonna lie, this is way better than I thought it would be. Look how good those strawberries look. I love it, but that is my idea of hell. We will let them carry on. That's absolutely amazing. We used to do things like that uh, um, somewhere I used to work. But yeah, the Marlborough is getting busy. Oh, we've even got a double-decker bus here for Rixo. Looks like a fancy brand that does... Um, oh, it's the shop on the corner. Okay, they've got some gorgeous looking prints. Look at those beanbags. They're stunning. There's a lot of like smaller brand um, like alcohol stands. Oh, I feel like this is the brand that's at Harrods, if I remember rightly. Rum punch, very, very tempting, but you can see in the background. Oh, it smells insane. And the crowds agree. Oh my gosh, we feel so much. I'm being a bit boring not getting anything. I mean, the health clinic next to the crepe stand probably wasn't the best idea. Got some posh cannolis. Well, they've been selling. Wow, look at that little gift box. That looks insane. Next to some very posh looking hats. Just off the main high street, there is a Dalesford store. Um, hence why I wasn't too fussed about seeing it in the Cotswolds. But I like the little flowers that they have next to each of the tables. And they've even got a little wheelie bar here from Dalesford. They've got lots of different wines. Oh, this is so tempting, guys. This is really difficult to not have a drink. Okay, guys, it is getting crazy, crazy busy. And my friends just messaged me, so I am going to walk down uh, to Oxford Street area and we're going to go and um, yeah, go and hang out. But it's now quite a nice day if you can kind of see in the background but this is exactly what it's like in the UK you can't really plan for things you can you have to make some plans uh, but you never know whether it's gonna happen oh time to buy the strawberries but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week subscribe if you'd like to see more and um yeah next Friday at six o'clock bye